Hello and welcome to EGW Writing's Tech Tips. I'm your host, Daryl Thompson. Thank you for joining us in another of our series on learning how to use the EGW Writing's 2 app on your iPhone. Today, what I'm going to talk about is how you can, within the app, use subscriptions to read through the Bible. We have created a Bible reading plan that you can follow and read your King James Version from Genesis all the way through to Revelation. And you're able to even set the time of day in which you'd like to receive the notification. And you can also choose how many pages a day and the days of the week in which you want to receive your subscription. And it will automatically calculate and deliver at that time every day. Now I have opened here in front of me the EGW Writings 2 app and you can see on the home screen that I have subscriptions. If I tap on subscriptions here, it opens me up to my subscription reading plans. Now I have the thought for the day, I have Patriarchs and Prophets which is the LNG White reading plan and then I have the daily devotional here book, Sons and Daughters of God. But you can also see that I have signed up to go through the King James Version. Now, if I want to modify my reading plan, I can do that. Or if I want to sign up, I can do that too. But I'm going, since I've already signed up for the plan, I'm going to click here on the King James Version. And you can see up in the top right hand corner the little edit note. Now, this is what you would do when you click on subscribe. And I'll show you where you get that in just a moment. You can see that the publication type is Bible, the language is English. The version, we only just have the King James Version at present, but we will add others. The start point, this is where I currently am at, and that is in the book of Joshua. And then you can see this, the start date in which it was you know, started already, when I signed up for this originally. And then it shows how many pages a day, and you can adjust this, you, know, you can say I want five pages a day, and once I adjust this, you can see the finish date of when I get through to the end of Revelation. And you'll see I'll finish on the 1st of March 2022 if I read six pages a day. I can also choose what days of the week I would like to receive this. Maybe I, I want to take a rest on, on the Sunday. Or I can choose to receive it all seven days of the week. I can also tap on here and choose my delivery time. So say, you know, I want to receive it at 7.30 a.m. I can set it to 7.30 and it will, it will be delivered then every day at that time. But I'm going to put it back there at 6.30 when I like to do my devotionals. I can turn on and off whether I'd like to receive it as well via an email or just within the app. You know, that is the choice there. Once I've set all my parameters, all I need to do is click Save. Okay, so now that we've saved our subscription, the first day it would come up and, you know, would just um, show the current day. You can't track forward because, it, you know, it hasn't been delivered yet. But in later days, once you have subscribed and your subscriptions are coming in, it's like this, you can backtrack through them. If you want to come back to the main calendar, you are able to track through the previous day's readings. If you haven't read them, you will notice that when I click back, if it has a little tiny gray dot, that means that I've read them. If it's a blue dot, then it means that I'm yet to read them. But I've read through mine, so I've only got a gray dot. And you can see that for tomorrow's, there's no little gray dot yet. It's always empty. Current date, you can see there it's highlighted in blue. And the day that I'm currently selected on, see, I can come through and tap. So here is where I'm up to in my deliveries is, is the day, November 11. All right, so if you ever, in the beginning, and you haven't signed up for anything, the first time that you come into subscriptions, you tap on this little gear wheel, and then this brings you up to all your subscriptions. And it would be right there, Bible reading plans, you would hit the little plus, and then you would choose your Bible subscription for there. You set your parameters, as I said from before, you know, it might be the Derby Bible this time I want to receive. I say, okay, I'm going to do 10 pages a day, Set 10 pages. The default time of delivery is 12 a.m. As I said, you can set the delivery time to what you want, the days of the week, and once you're ready, you click Start. And it's going to go through. Set it up on our servers, so your subscription, and then once it's finished, it'll come up here and it will say Done. 
Okay, so once your subscription is done, here it is, you get your first day. You can't track forward because we have not read and you have not read a previous day, but you can read the current day for the first subscription. But tomorrow, you'll be able to read November 11 and 12, and then once you get on the 13th, you'll be able to track back to the current day, 13th, and then the 12th, and then the 11th, but that's how it works in the delivery. Okay, so that is Bible reading plans in the EGW Writings 2 app. I hope that little explanation on how to use and set up the Bible reading plans has been helpful, and I encourage you to read through your Bible daily, because as Ellen White has always pointed out, when we spend an hour a day in prayer and Bible study, we can join our lives very close in union with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thanks for joining us now, and have a blessed day. Bye for now.